Looks like one and two lane. Lane yeah. splitting in a in a in a Porsche is fun as well. Nice, but more difficult. Yeah, oh, I can I can see that. Yeah, I was gonna say it could be challenging. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about something that you're really passionate about, the La Carrera. A lot of our listeners really, you know, unless they're from this area, you know, we have a lot of global listeners all over the place, and as important as that race is, like we we're in the know because we pay attention to the stuff like that. But can you educate some of our listeners about what the law career is and why it's important and why you guys, why personally you, you like doing that? There will be some ironies here as we discuss this, but, uh, law career is a race that, uh, was founded to celebrate the opening of the Pan American highway as it related to the um, country of Mexico. And back in 1950, you know, Mexico had a lot more in common with America as part of being part of America than it, it kind of does now. It's weird how things have changed, but you know, it's a big deal to have a major highway. Absolutely. And we're at the same time, we were building our highway system, you know, mm-hmm. during the Eisenhower uh, era. So roads were important and, and you know, like it or not, we're a car based universe still. Mm-hmm. Yep. And all of a sudden, back in uh, 1950, there's this huge, nice paved road that goes all the way from, uh, you know, tip of America yeah, all the way to United States. So we're all America. People forget that. Sometimes. I know. Exactly. Right. But uh, USA is the only one that counts. Yeah. It's like, no, that's yeah. not true. <laughs> I don't think that's true at all. I, I think, yeah. yeah, it's all, it all should count. But anyways, so uh, they celebrated this, this uh, amazing achievement and they had a race, the La Carrera Panamericana. And that race went on for four years and uh, it just became a little uh, unwieldy. Mm-hmm. Cars got faster. They didn't have the safety and, uh, and uh, wherewithal we have now. And so it just became a little bit unsafe for, for spectators and participants. Okay. And the race kind of went away. And it was this mythical beast that existed you know, for those four years. And then it came back in 88 or 89. And... Um, I'm a big Pink Floyd fan. Mm-hmm. So one day I'm in Hollywood, I'm looking at some music and they have DVDs and not DVDs, but uh, VHS tapes, right? Okay. And here's this VHS tape and it's uh, Pink Floyd, La Carrera. I'm like, no way. That's cool. And it's beautiful. And the music's good, the imagery's good, production's not so good, but. Yeah, it exists and it was cool and that got me so fired up and then fast forward about uh, almost exactly 20 years okay from the inception mm-hmm. so you had 89 yeah. 2009 no 10 years I'm sorry okay so uh, uh, I was at a car show uh, I had a reputation for building fast fours okay uh, I vintage raced club not raced. you back in the day it's a long time ago <laughs> but Somebody approached me and they said they wanted to build a La Carrera car and my head exploded inside. You know, I was like, oh, I just kept my cool. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I can do that. Yeah. So, but so the, the, the La Carrera race is this really, really incredible spectacle. It's this circus of cars that travels from one city every day to yeah. another city. It's so seven days, right? For, yeah. And then yeah. there's the, the, the race before the race, mm-hmm. which is uh, qualifying, just getting there. A lot of logistics. Um, generally speaking, I'm gone from the shop for about 20 days. Okay. And I don't sleep at all. Wow. I, I get a couple hours a day if I'm lucky. And so most of this chrome on my chin yeah. is from La Carrera <laughs> and raising Ian. Yeah. And Patrick and Elizabeth. <laughs> uh-huh. That's right. So, uh, but the race is pretty cool. And, and it, it, it's funny because it's, it's has uh, people in Europe know about it. People in, the, in Central and South America know about it. People in Canada know about it. Uh-huh. But uh, not so much USA. Yeah, it's kind of strange. That's a that's a nine eleven lighting off in the background. Yeah, good stuff. That's that that's that's that RSR car. I think it's going on the uh, yeah the alignment rack. So, anyways, uh, so generally, how many cars are in it? Is there a limit to how many cars can be they, in? Well, they're limit. Yeah, kind of, sort of. But uh, the most I've ever seen there is like one hundred and twenty cars wow. in Ooh. one outing. Um, it is a lot. Politics and and turmoil in the region affect attendance from year to year. Mm-hmm. Um, I've participated in it since 2009, mm-hmm. um, and I participated in it as a builder 
crew chief. Okay. Um, and then there's the, the race between the teams. <laughs> so I always like to have a, a pretty fast Duramax. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That's so, where the Chevy comes in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's awesome. So I w- that's what was going to be my next question is like, I guess there's roles on the team, right? Are some people just drivers or some people driving and doing mechanics? Or like, yeah, is so, it a little bit of both? Or? So it's, it's uh, you, you have a pilot, co-pilot, generally speaking. Okay. The pilot pilots and the co-pilot, it's a rally. And yeah. There's, there's rally books and you have a rally computer. Like traditional, like, you know, WRC, like rally Absolutely. types of like, you yes. know. One right, yeah, two right. Yeah, yeah. Break, okay. break, break, break. You know, it's okay. like they're yelling at each other through their microphones the whole time. Okay. And uh, really good friends want to kill each other on occasion. You can see it. <laughs> it goes down. It's a grueling race. The The road surfaces are pretty gnarly. Uh-huh. There's a lot of, there's animals and things and people that do silly things. Um, I think I saw a video of you once, like, on one of the races, you guys had, like, an ac- broken axle. You're under some loading dock somewhere in Mexico trying to, like, repair it. Or I don't remember. It was something like that. I, I saw some. I think that's when your exhaust took a hit. There's so many. Some, yeah. Th- th- every trip, there's something weird going on. It was just like, I'm like, what the hell are they doing? Like, but yeah. I, I guess that's what you do what you can. You're out in the middle. You got to fix it. And, and me, after like 25, 26 hours being awake, I get punchy, playful. Uh huh. So it's. You're like kind of hallucinating a little bit. And I, don't just, know what it, I, just, I just like, I like, you know. He like, he'll go through this thing where he gets really tired and he starts getting aggressive and like cranky. And then out of nowhere, he goes to this euphoric, like. Yeah. Yep. Hey like, guys. Okay, we're in it now. I'm floating right now. You're like, dude, what are you doing? Well, we we had to rebuild a motor on the sidewalk in Mexico City last time. Last time out. No, oh, yeah. Wow. And, oh, I do remember you talking yeah. about that. Yeah. And uh, in the dark in front of a hotel. <laughs> and the car got stolen across the street. Yeah, we witnessed a, a brand new Mercedes <laughs> getting stolen while you guys are out there yeah, working. We're like, what's that guy doing? It's like two in the morning, you know, and and the, the, the it's going ba ba yeah ba, ba. and then uh, see ya. Boop, he drives down the he drives down the street and crashes. <laughs> Airbags oh, deploy and he wow. walks away. <laughs> Not so too successful. He manages to get it to start somehow. Yeah, the story has a good start and finish. You got to see the car getting stolen. Yes, and the car crashes it. We yeah, saw the whole the whole thing. Yeah. Instantly gone. We didn't get to see what happened with the insurance report, but other than that, it's all good. <laughs> so that leads me to, so you're, are you going on these uh, rallies? Yeah. I, I went back in, I believe, 2010 and 11 for the, for the La Carrera and the Chihuahua Express. <clears throat> okay. How was that experience? Did you enjoy it? Do you, yeah. do you think you would ever yeah. want to get into, start fun. doing that or? Down again. It's, my, it's my wife I have to convince to let me go to Mexico. Uh, that makes sense. I saw a lot of things. <laughs> and I learned how much I hate. I, I well, I've learned how much to appreciate our speed bumps because the ones in Mexico are just everywhere. Yeah, like you're on a highway or just this road going through the desert or middle of nowhere, and it's like you're driving through New Mexico. There's like nothing. Yeah, and out of nowhere, there's this giant speed bump. <laughs> and it just destroys you. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. And it, like it blends in with the road. You don't see it. It's just like go go. The wheels off the top One of the time car. during the Chihuahua oh Express, God. we were on the the road to Divisadero out of Chihuahua, and it's wide open. And I, and there's certain signs now that we're veterans. You know, you kind of look to see what the people are doing mm-hmm. on the side of the road, because I saw these people standing on the side of the road. I'm like, why are these people standing here? There's no bus stop. I like, what's going on here? Well, there was this topa that was about six feet across, oh and it ramped up at a 45 degree angle to like eight inches. And we were in my old Duramax. So they knew that's where the action was going to happen. We had an empty trailer <laughs> oh, with a tire rack on top. God. Full of wheels and tires. And we hit that thing so hard <laughs> that it sheared the support for the spares. And all the spares launch. And they're going 70 miles an hour. Oh, like a shotgun blast. my and, God. And people were running for their lives on the side <laughs> of the road. I mean, it, it was like... Yeah. The best part is watching them like casually get our tires for us. And yeah. Just, they're laughing. They're like, oh. <laughs> we took a fence down. It just destroyed but Yeah. The fence. Oh, my Yeah, this was just fancy. Got bang, bang, and just done. Just leveled it. bazooka a bunch of tires off the top of the... <laughs> we bent uh, two, two wheels. We lost two wheels. Oh. Because some of them uh, caught an edge and started doing the side flip. <laughs> bang! And it was just bent the shit out oh. of me to throw them away. And then that was the, the La Carrera that year that I went was when they removed their sump cover. Yes. And we had to refill oil every single stop. Oh. The sump was broken, and I, there's really no way for me to fix it other than replace the motor. And uh, so I just kept putting goo on it and 
praying and it worked. We won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I was going to say it worked. Yeah. Winners. So it, at the end of it, cause it's such a grueling race, like talking about what you like circling back to what you're saying. Is there ever a time that you like one of these things that when it ends, do you ever say, so you're like, it's it. I'm, I'm not doing it next year. I'm not going to do it. I'm, well, <laughs> I, I, uh, did I, did I, I, I noticed, strike something without like I, knowing I, here? Yep, yep. You did. Um, so sorry if I, if I'm, no, no, it, I, you know? I'm, I'm uh, at a good place. You know, I, I've built some winning cars. Uh, I have participated in, uh, the event quite a few times. I'm not saying I'm never going to do it again, but I did tell both teams that for sure this year we're taking a break. I mean, uh-huh. I mean, they can do whatever they want and I'll fix the cars and prep them. Yeah. But if they want to go, they're going to have to get uh, another shop or another, okay. uh, a Mexican like another provider. support vehicle and yeah, all that stuff. Ship the cars out in a container. So. Okay, so they still do like I saw one uh, the cars in there. So they're just still, still doing vehicle prep, but then they're on their own basically once they leave. Right? Is that what's going on for yeah, this but, year? But these are proven cars, so I mean they're, you know, I don't want to. There's some years where you just check the oil and the torque on the lugs and the, and the car just wins really that's nice. happened twice and it's the, it's a good it's year the best that's ever. a i was gonna say that makes her a good year you're like Actually, that's, well, it, I, it, I just want to do that every <laughs> year then you can do a year it, it pretty much the whole goal of the race is essentially hurt the car as little as possible oh i would imagine yeah nobody wants to go out there and beat the shit out of it something so and hard. have to replace everything it is, right it's very difficult to not beat the shit out of your car on that race it's it's awful well yeah i've yeah. seen the video i just look i you know, I think I think I was watching somebody in a nine eleven like just drive over something, and, like something snapped, and they're like, "Well, this lost the rear end." It's oh, every, like, the attrition is huge. Every day, I, the cars leave. You know? Yeah. So, our goal is to keep it going. I had one DNF. Okay. Out of uh, like seven appearances. Wow, so. that's pretty good. So, like of those hundred and twenty cars, if you had to ballpark, how many you think are finishing the race out of those one twenty? Oh, probably probably twenty. Uh, well, it depends. I mean, no, we get quite a. I would say that we we probably lose fifteen to twenty percent of the of the okay. cars. Okay. And what happens is people really want to finish, mm-hmm. so they may not win, but they want to finish, and they don't finish. So they almost kind of once they've conceded they're not going to win, it turns into just like an endurance thing. They're like, there. I just want to yeah. do it now. You, 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 you know the guy? You see the guy at the marathon who's crawling across the finish yeah. line. That happens. I mean, the cars really? are destroyed. Just pushing them across. Like. Yeah, the college take at night. At that point, just run across. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. That's it. That is the nickname of... Yeah, uh, the car. Is it really? Yeah. I love That's, it. They call it the shake and bake. You guys got to put Fig Newtons on the windshield as like a sponsor. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, man. So, 